Muslim community in California has condemned a government program which was launched by President Obama last week for singling out Muslims as the root of all terror. Ganesh Chikan reports on how the U.S. president managed to cause such offense among followers of Islam. A coalition of Muslim rights groups and student associations said they did not appreciate the fact that President Obama singled out the Muslim community and appealed directly to them to find a solution. Muslim leaders need to do more to discredit the notion that our nations are determined to suppress Islam, that there is an inherent clash in civilizations. President Obama appealed specifically to young people in the Muslim community to get online and to counter the extremist message. Now, the office, the L.A. Office of the Council on American-Islamic Relations, suggested that the community feels they're being treated as, quote-unquote, a collection of suspects. It seems that the government or some agencies within the government insist on seeing or perceiving or treating the American Muslim community through the prism of uh, national security and terrorism. There's definitely no debate that many of the policies of the West, you know, my country included, contribute to a growing rift between the Muslim uh, populations of Muslim-majority countries and the West. So what we would hope is for our government to recognize that and work with all Americans, including American Muslims and others. The president may have spoken with the best of intentions. He had an audience of representatives from 60 countries. He wanted to reach out to the world with this message. But it seems at this point that the message does not appeal to the Muslim community right here in the United States. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chekyan, RT.